Hi, I'm Greg from gregsbasicelectronics.com and I just wanted to tell everybody that my new course, my new home study mini course on basic electronics, the hands-on approach, is now available. I've been teaching electronics, been involved in electronics since the vacuum tube era. And over the years, I've discovered there's really two ways to teach electronics. There's the stodgy, old, boring way, and there's a, my new hands-on approach, meat and potatoes way, as I call it. I uh, can show you methods and ways that you can get your mind around these concepts quickly and easily. I use a laid-back, easy-going, no-pressure approach on learning. I break it down into small bits and pieces, and you learn by experience, hands-on. so important to have hands-on experience that most people don't get. And as you go through my course, you're going to find yourself saying over and over again, Oh, wow! I get it. I see how that works. And one of the things that makes people hesitant to learn electronics is the math. But I've worked on that too. I have simplified the math down to the point where you can actually do it in your head or on a simple calculator. I really, I've made it that easy. Learn basic electronics the easy way at home at your own speed. Today, everyone needs to know at least some basic electronics. With a working understanding of basic electronics, you will be able to put together your own basic circuits and understand exactly how it all works because I'll show you using hands-on experience. When you take my Introduction to Basic Electronics course, you'll find yourself saying, yes, I see how this works, over and over again. Okay, let me show you how we take a complex subject like Ohm's Law and make it simple. Easy Ohm's Law. This is from one of my ebooks in the Basic Electronics Home Study Guide. The Lost Secrets to Ohm's Law. A simple way to learn some basic electronics is by using experience you already have. Think about the water pipes in your house. It takes a certain amount of pressure to cause any water to flow out of the faucet. The more pressure, the more flow. The other variable is the pipe. For the same amount of pressure, if you make the pipe smaller in diameter, less water will flow. Larger in diameter, more water will flow. Think about that for a minute. It's quite simple. Voltage, current, and resistance. Now uh, we need you to do this. Think of electric voltage as pressure and electric current as flow. The higher the voltage or pressure, the higher the current flow. Okay. In the same way, think of pipe diameter as resistance. The smaller diameter equals the greater resistance. Okay, guess what? You have just mastered the three basic foundation points that modern electronics is built on. Now, presenting, you guessed it, Ohm's Law. But, just remember, one, pressure is measured in volts, current flow is measured in amps, and resistance to current is measured in ohms. Now, here's the real Ohm's Law. E equals I times R. That's it. Okay, here's what we have. E stands for volts. I explain why in the course. I stands for amps. And yes, R stands for resistance. The formula says voltage equals current times resistance. That's it. That's Ohm's Law in a nutshell. Okay? Now, we'll change it around. Here are the basic Ohm's Law formulas. E equals I times R, that's voltage equals current times resistance. I equals E divided by R, volts divided by resistance, amps. And R equals E divided by I, that's ohms, resistance, equals volts divided by current, or amps. These are the basic three. In the course, of course, I'll give you the formula for power as well. Now, there you have it. You just learn Ohm's Law in a few minutes. I, of course, go into more detail in the course, but here you at least, I hope, got the concept of Ohm's Law. The Introduction to Basic Electronics Home Study Course includes audios and videos. This complete basic electronics package includes video and audio review notes for each chapter, 